Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park in the past two weeks. Hundreds of small earthquakes have been detected at Mount Rainier, and this is the largest swarm of quake. Thousands of earthquakes under Yellowstone and Mount. Rainier, USGS shocked by geyser eruption that became their worst fear. In a development that has stunned scientists across the United States Geological Survey USGS, thousands of earthquake swarms have been detected beneath Yellowstone National Park and Mount Rainier, two of the most powerful volcanic systems in North America. This discovery comes alongside a violent geyser eruption in Yellowstone, an event that many researchers had quietly feared could signal the next stage of the region's hidden unrest. What began as minor tremors on seismic monitors soon transformed into a relentless sequence of micro earthquakes, shaking deep below the crust from Wyoming to Washington. The data, captured by dozens of high sensitivity sensors, paints a chilling picture. The earth beneath America's volcanic heart is alive and it's stirring more than ever before. Section 1, the rising pulse beneath Yellowstone. At Yellowstone, the supervolcano's colossal magma chamber, spanning nearly 60 kilometers across, has shown subtle but unmistakable changes. USGS seismic maps revealed that over 2,000 earthquakes were recorded in less than two weeks. Many clustered near the Norris Geyser Basin and Mammoth Hot Springs, regions already known for intense geothermal energy. Scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, report that several quakes reached magnitudes between 2.5 and 3.2, while the majority were smaller tremors. Too weak to be felt, but strong enough to shake the underground hydrothermal network. Researchers believe these swarms could indicate rising hydrothermal fluids or even the migration of magma closer to T. He surface. The concern deepened after the steamboat geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted with unusual intensity, sending boiling water and steam hundreds of feet into the air. For the USGS, this event wasn't just spectacular, it was symbolic. The steamboat eruption occurred immediately after a cluster of seismic spikes rippled beneath the same area. It's the kind of coincidence that makes us pay attention, said one geophysicist. We've always wondered what happens when seismic swarms and hydrothermal eruptions align. Now we're seeing it live. Satellite imagery from NASA's thermal infrared sensors showed a localized heat anomaly spreading across the northern section of the Yellowstone caldera. At the same time, GPS instruments measured slight uplift, about to centimeters, suggesting that pressurized material below is subtly pushing the ground upward. Section 2, Mount Rainier, the sleeping giant stirs. While Yellowstone captured headlines, another giant began to awaken, Mount Rainier, Washington's snow-capped volcano looming over Seattle and Tacoma. The Pacific Northwest Seismic Network PNS and detected an unprecedented swarm of more than 1,500 quakes beneath Rainier's summit and flank within days. These tremors, mostly shallow and occurring at depths between 2 and 6 kilometers, resemble what scientists call volcano tectonic quakes, events triggered when magma or hot fluids crack surrounding rock as they rise. Though no eruption has been declared imminent, the pattern and frequency have startled experts who recall that Mount Rainier's last major eruption 500 years ago produced devastating and 
USGS. Volcanologists describe the data as historic for the region. We've never recorded this many quakes in such a short span of time at Rainier, one researcher stated. This kind of seismic behavior tells us the volcano's plumbing system is under new stress. Adding to the concern, ground deformation sensors around Rainier slopes began showing subtle shifts, suggesting internal pressure changes. And for the first time in years, steam plumes were captured by satellite imagery over the upper crater area, faint but distinct signs that the volcano's hydrothermal system is reactivating. Section 3, The Geyser Eruption That Shocked Scientists The event that truly shook the scientific community was a violent geyser eruption inside Yellowstone's porcelain basin. A sudden, explosive burst that tore open new vents and blasted scalding water and rock fragments into the air. The explosion created a new 4-meter-wide hole in the ground and was accompanied by a seismic tremor registering magnitude to dot nine dot at first. Researchers thought it was an isolated hydrothermal event, a common occurrence in Yellowstone. But when they reviewed the timing, it matched precisely with a peak in the ongoing earthquake swarm. That alignment, seismic stress and hydrothermal explosion was exactly what geologists had long feared. A potential warning that pressure inside the caldera is destabilizing. A lead volcanologist from the USGS commented, This is the nightmare scenario we've talked about for decades, that a chain reaction between seismic and hydrothermal systems could lead to unpredictable consequences. The geyser eruption wasn't just a show, it was the system venting pressure. High resolution drone footage taken days later showed newly cracked ground across parts of Norris Basin. With steam and sulfur gases venting more aggressively than before. Some pools changed color, from turquoise to muddy gray, a possible sign of fresh underground fluid movement. Section 4. The Science Behind the Chaos Seismic swarms under volcanoes are not always a sign of imminent eruption. They often represent subsurface fluid migration as hot water or magma pushes through old rock pathways, 